My heart in the garden. This is how I want to be remembered. Please open Indian Animal Fables to page 133. On the page is a deer. Flip a few pages back, not forward. Eyes light on a single word. Tawny, as in Tawny von Tope. It's the first in a poem's list of fabricated egg colors. I'll put the book away. The still image of a young deer, a dear dead deer that was in my garden haunts me. You would think she couldn't pursue me in my dreams with her one hind hoof sheared off clean. What predator engine could do that? And for the life of me, why hobble in my yard? Why here? She says, to avoid all the dogs around me. Could I give her some measure of comfort? I talk to Schrodinger's cat. Hold comfort until I saw her muzzle, nuzzled, exactly like that, pressed into the wall. There she is, arriving too late, shrouded in moonlight, subliminal screams. It goes on like that. Doze, knocking on doors, moving on. Five houses down into a cross, there's Charlene. I take Indian animal fables with me, seen as coincidences are hard to ignore. Hoarse voice after hours, wading through deep insights and an ancient so-called sage advice. There's even some weighty words about what to do with a wayward wife. Charlene sits attentively as she can no longer speak coherently. Mostly she listens with her hands, giving measurements to times long since past. Sitting there so neatly layered, black tea, blue flannel, black hoodie, blue jeans, black, red and white striped socks and you get the picture we read tales within tales of golden a teacher mouse and several student deer a flashing turtle a flock of netted doves and then there was stammer a crow let's see cg young's synchronicities shadow me home a flattened deer mouse is pasted to the road. Fades of red-breasted robins, snakes, chameleons, and untold toads might not haunt the doe. Fabled utterances ring in my hollowed ears. I sigh, go inside, and collect garbage bags to place outside the refuge and the waste. Please take this picture with you, her crumpled side, her eyes and nose indented, her lips too. Kindly recall her missing hoof. Gently I touched her death, for I could not smell her when she left. Thank you.